Alright guys, welcome to this page of the notes and again what we're doing is in this section you're going to be asked to add and subtract rational expressions. But in order to add and subtract fractions, you must have a common denominator. And in order to find that common denominator, we need to be able to find an LCM. So we're working on practicing finding LCMs for both monomials and polynomials. So let's start with a couple more example problems here, finding the LCM of monomials and polynomials before on the next page of the notes we jump into actually doing the adding and subtracting of rational expressions. So here we go. And again, I apologize. I'm going to have to squeeze. Um, I got the spacing way too tight on these. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, I apologize if it is too small. Um, what we've got here is 24R cubed ST squared. So I need to factor that. All right, well, 24 uh, is 8, 8 times 3, right? 8 times 3 gives me 24, but the 8 can be split into a 2 times a 4, and the 4 can be split into a 2 times a 2. So if you followed me there, what you have is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 cubed times 3. So 24 r cubed st squared is equal to a 2 cubed times 3 times r cubed times s times t squared. Awesome. 15. 15 s cubed t. Well, 15 is easy. 15 is 3 times 5, and both 3 and 5 are prime, so there's nothing else I can do to those. 3 times 5 times s cubed times t. Okay, great. 18. 18 uh, r squared s to the fifth. Okay, well, 18. 18 is 2 times 9. But 9 can be factored into 3 times 3. So if you follow me here, that means you have a 2 times 3 times 3, which is a 3 squared. So 18 is 2 times 3 squared times r squared times s to the fifth. All right, so my LCM is each factor the greatest number of times that it appears. I have a 2 cubed and a 2 to the first, so I keep the 2 cubed. Okay, I have a 3 to the first and a 3. I apologize, I wrote a 3 cubed. It's not, that should be a 9. It's a 3 squared, my bad. So I have a 3 to the first and 3 squared. I keep the 3 squared. Okay. Um, 5 only shows up once. All right, now, uh, keep the variables the greatest number of times it appears. R cubed, R squared, I keep the R cubed. I have an S to the first, S to the third, S to the fifth. I keep the S to the fifth. I have a t squared and a t. I keep the t squared. Okay. Multiply those guys together. 2 cubed uh, is 8. Um, 3 squared is 9. Multiply that by 5. Quick calculator thing. I wind up with 360. R cubed s to the fifth t squared. LCM. So we found the LCM of those three monomials. Let's keep going. I've got a couple more for you here. Um, actually, we already did 18, so we'll just copy what we did for 18. A to the fifth, C, B squared. So I know that 18, A to the fifth, C, B squared is going to be a 2 times 3 squared times a to the fifth times c times b squared. Again, I apologize. My spacing was way too close here. Hopefully, you can read that. Sorry, it's so small. 12. Well, 12, actually, we've done 12 before, and it's not that tricky anyway. 12a squared b to the fourth. 
12 is 3 times 4, but 4 is a 2 squared. So 3, I'm oh, sorry, let me do the 2 first. 2 squared times 3 times a squared times b to the fourth. And then finally, 27 a c cubed. Well, 27. Well, 27 is a 3 times 9. But 9 is a 3 times 3. So if you followed me there, that means you have 3 times 3 times 3, which is a 3 cubed. Times a times C cubed. All right, so my LCM comes each factor the greatest number of times I have it. 2 to the first, 2 squared, I keep the 2 squared. I have a 3 squared, a 3, and a 3 to the third. I keep the 3 to the third. Um, let's see, a to the fifth, a squared, a, keep the a to the fifth. Um, C, C cubed, we keep the C cubed. And B squared, B to the, we keep the B to the fourth. Right, multiply those out, 2 squared, 3 cubed, quick calculator gives you 108. So my LCM is 108, A to the fifth, C cubed, B to the fourth. That is the LCM, the least common multiple of those three monomials. One more here. 36. Um, M cubed, P, N to the fourth. All right, let's see here. Um, 36, man. Well, actually, I could do 6 times 6. Uh, 6 times 6 gets me 36, but the 6 will break down into 2 times 3 and 2 times 3, which means I wind up with 2 squared times 3 squared, or 4 times 9. So that's going to be the way to go. 2 squared times 3 squared times m to the third times p times n to the fourth. Great. 6 m cubed n to the fifth. Well, we just did a 6. We know 6 is 2 times 3, so it'll just be 2 times 3. m to the third n to the fifth. And then my last one, 42 m times n times p squared. Well, let's see here. Um, 42, well, 42 is 6 times 7, right? 6 times 7, but the 6 can be broken up into 2 times 3. So if you followed me there, that means I have 2 times 3 times 7. 2 would be prime, 3 would be prime, and 7 would be prime, so that's as far as I can go. So we have 2 times 3 times 7 times m times n times p squared. That means that my LCM is equal to, well, uh, 2 squared, 2, and 2. I keep the 2 squared. Uh, let's see, 3 squared, 3, and 3. I keep the 3 squared. And then I got um, 7. All right. Now, my variables. Well, m to the third, m to the third, m. We keep the m to the third. Um, let's see, p, p squared, keep the p squared, and I got an n to the fourth, and well, you keep the n to the fifth. All right, multiply those guys out, 2 squared, 3 squared, and 7. Quick calculator, I get 1,512 m to the third, n to the fifth, p squared as my LCM. All right, guys, head on over to the next page of the notes. We'll try a few more with factoring polynomials, and I'll meet you guys there.